defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. Let's do this. Uh, I haven't gotten to ISIS saying we'll use refugees crisis to infiltrate the West. I haven't gotten to Russia being told don't fight Al Qaeda or we'll attack you by the State Department. I haven't gotten to um, the homeless crisis in New York City. I haven't gotten to the head of the Chinese Central Bank saying the meltdown has begun. Welcome to America, the degenerate Saudi king to visit. Harps being fired back up, the latest on Steve Jobs. I want to go to your phone calls right now. That's all coming up, but let's go to your phone calls right now. Uh, let's talk to Robert. Let's talk to Robert in North Dakota. Robert, thank you so much for calling today. You're on the air worldwide. Hi, Alex. Thank you for taking my call. Thank uh, you. Do you remember a little while back you had a caller on your show that identified himself as Abe? And after his call, you made reference to that that was kind of a very creepy call. I don't know if you recall that call. No, I, I don't recall. They all kind of blur, but what what did he say? Well, he, he <clears throat> gave you a warning that it has begun and that uh, it was in reference to the blood moons and so on and so forth. If you look back in the archives, it was a few months ago. But I remember I was listening to the show, and you were pretty shook up after that call. It, it, in fact, it, it's kind of creepy for me, too. But uh, I remember something vaguely. I mean, I'll be honest with you, but I don't remember exactly. All I know is the globalists are launching a full offensive at every level. They're coming out of the closet. It's on. They're telling us how to speak. Don't use the word mother and father. This is cult level. What do we do about it? You're hitting a nerve. Dave has contacted me, and he... It's not going to call your show anymore, but he wants me to relay some information to you. You are absolutely right, he says, that this Pope is the, is the false prophet. This global economic crash that is coming and will happen is tied into the coming microchip RFID mark, quote-unquote, and the fourth and final blood moon, a warning from God is due to arrive the 28th of this month. And he wanted me to relay this to you, that you are absolutely 100% correct to keep getting the word out for people to prepare because they're not going to stop it. There's no way to stop this. It's, it's already, the final stages have already been, been set in motion. But people can prepare for what's happening and that you right. would do. Well, well uh, listen, I appreciate your call and God bless you. Look, I want to say this. I don't know if we're going to have total like financial collapse individually in the next six months. All over the world, hell is broke loose. All over the world, countries are collapsing. All over the world, our leadership is funding the bad guys. All over the world, economic indicators are redlining. But we're like an island... All an island is is a mountain in the ocean. We're an island above the water. We're watching other islands go under and people drown, but we're thinking, oh, we're safe, but the water's coming up. That's what I'm getting at, is that being politically involved, being aware that the globalists want to wreck civilization and bring in this giant population calling event in their own words is key. These people have bad intentions, bad will for humanity. I don't know about the Shemitah and blood moons and astrology. and I know the elite are into all that. And I'm not criticizing people that are into it or not into it. All I study is politics, economics, the real world, history. And the elite are bad. They are moving towards evil goals. And I just look at people's children out in the street, at the grocery store, at the movies, at the mall, at church. And I just want to warn people. I mean, I did a, um, I mentioned this earlier, I never told the whole story. I, I went out and did a, a little jog on the hike and bike trail, and I got like a million views or whatever when I was sitting there talking to people on the Facebook uh, video feed, just warning people about vaccines. People were like, man, that's crazy. He warns people. I mean, I know they're bad, 
It's not the science is bad. It's that what they're putting in them is bad. So it's normal. It's not superhero to warn people if their house is on fire. We'll come back with your calls. And make no mistake, all of us are entering the real danger zone. Not for our physical bodies, but for our souls. You don't know if you're free until you're ready to put it on the line. We're launching a major new operation to syndicate the daytime show and the nightly news on the television across the country. I've already launched the satellite. I've already signed the contracts. It's already on. It's already live. Coming up the 16th and 17th, we've got a big announcement. And I'm coming right back to your calls after this special Alert, promo, and then the rest of the news. Here it is. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness. Masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism, it seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition, controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this but it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating so join us this september 16th and 17th for what i believe will be the final money bomb that infowars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening because as mahatma gandhi famously said first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they attack you then you win we are in that process of being massively attacked and in the face we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. 
history is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And InfoWars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists, stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the InfoWar. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. Would there be a defense? Would people stand against the genetic takeover, the biometric enslavement grid, the world government? We're just here attempting to stop it. We're going to come back from break here in a few minutes and go directly to your phone calls. Jack and Dominique and Angel visits Doug, Corey, John, Alamo, Joe, Mike, Sam, Amy, Nick. We will go to all of you. I'll give it to everybody today starting at the beginning of the next segment. It makes me angry at the social engineers when they put the cancer viruses and the chemicals and the vaccines to brain damage and sterilize our people. When they show an image of a dead Syrian toddler washed up on the beach and say, open up Europe, open up and accept the entire Middle East or you're racist. When our own governments destabilize and wreck those countries. It makes me physically sick. We have to get serious. We have to become aware of how the globalists operate. We have to get real. Or we will contribute to more innocent deaths. I mean, look at this headline. Bernie Sanders leads Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire by nine points. Senator would receive backing of 41% of Democrats to Clinton's 32 the Guardian. Bernie Sanders is a bumbling, addled communist. The country is bankrupt. We can't offer the world more freebies. We've never had more people, a hundred million and one, not working, getting paid. Do you understand that it's, I'm not against welfare because I'm a greedy bastard. I'm against it because it domesticates you. It destroys the economy. While they double our power prices, while they shut down our fuel, while they ship our jobs overseas, they want to give you freebies to make you controlled by them for their end game. And once they get their end game, it's all over, people. The stupid Vermont senator is what the Democrats would vote for. I don't know if I trust Donald Trump or not. But what he says historically is true. So I'm forced to defend the ideas themselves. But is it time to evacuate this country? Is America done? When the majority of Democrats, as bad as Hillary is, she's a fascist New World Order parasite, but... They run to Bernie Sanders. I guess it's a positive thing saying they're anti-establishment. We're seeing the rise of outsiders. But you're not running to an outsider. You're running to their controlled opposition. <laughs> Socialism creates and communism creates nightmares untold. We'll be back in three minutes with your phone calls on this station. Stay with us. This is History Happening. Not only evil has a will, but good has a will. And I feel very humbled to be in the position of good, but I can state unequivocally we have goodwill towards humanity. We want prosperity. We want honor. We want justice. We want security. We got 45 plus minutes left, 47 minutes left worldwide in broadcast. I want to go to your phone calls from Sweden to Fox Lake, Illinois, from South Carolina to Tennessee to Florida to FEMA Region 9 to Colorado to Atlanta in Alberta, Canada, Tennessee, and California. Right now, let's go to Jack in Sweden. Thank you for calling, Jack. You're on the air. Hey, uh, Alex, can you hear me? I can, brother. Thanks for calling. You know, Alex, I mean, I feel so sorry for people when I realize what's happening. 
and i i have something to say